everybody, how's it going? This is Ashley from Young Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to go into the bush for uh, some firewood. I'm going to have some friends over tomorrow during the day. Uh, we're going to have a little fire, have some hot chocolate. So I figured today's uh, the perfect day to come out. Uh, just stopped snowing. We've got about a uh, foot or so. Uh, pretty significant snowfall overnight. And uh, I'm out with the dogs. Sit down, buddy. We've got Dodger here. And yeah, Riley, where are you? Sit down, buddy. And we got Riley. So, I'm going to take a walk down. We're going to go a little ways further uh, just to get to, to where all the dead wood is. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. The dogs, they just love it out here. They really do. It's uh, it's nice and cold. It's uh, lots of snow. They love the snow. So we're having a good time. So I'm going to be walking to uh, a couple of different spots to get some wood. I'm just trying to find some small stuff that I can put in my, uh, here's Riley, to put in my uh, backpack. All I brought with me was a saw and my pack. Uh, that's all we're doing today. And obviously I got the dogs with me. Uh, so I'm trying to find some wood to fill up my pack. I'll stop at a couple spots to do that. And I think I'm gonna start here. So here I'm going to show you guys my uh, my Sven saw. Uh, it's pretty common. Lots of people use them. Uh, I just started using it, I guess, last year. So it's pretty cool. It's got its little sheath that works as the handle, and then the blade actually hides inside of this sheath, which makes the rest of the triangle. And it's got a little wing nut right here that secures everything in place. See the bottom here. A little slot for it and then you put the post with the screw here that comes through comes through and you put the wing nut on the bottom make sure you don't drop this in the snow done that before that was a lot of fun not give it a good tighten Make sure everything's in place. And it is, so we're good. Nice and sturdy. Got the handle here. You can use it at the bottom, you can use it at the top. Doesn't really matter. Works either way. Do whatever's comfortable for you. Go on, boys. Go. No. have a stump right now I'm actually using my uh, my leg as a brace works pretty good come on, come on. don't mind the dogs The end of my stick I'm chopping up here, obviously I've got all these little fine bits. Now when I'm making a fire, I use uh, some pretty fine stuff. I go, obviously I've got my tinder, then I've got my small sticks, then I've got my uh, bigger sticks, my kindling, and then I've got my fuel. 
So I've got about four piles of wood, all different sizes. Um, so I'm actually gonna use the little stuff here to break it all off, keep it all together, and I'm gonna use it as my uh, second half of my fire. Really easy, breaks down nice. I got a dog that wants a stick. Here you go. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a lot harder to find wood out here in the snow than it is when there isn't. Uh, I remember specific spots where I had left uh, some pretty dry wood, I thought anyway. Um, and it's all just covered out here. So, uh, not having the best luck, but uh, I'm going to find some. Everything's pretty wet. This is looking and feeling pretty dry, so I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see what we come up with. wet. Uh, not finding a whole lot at the spot that I'm at right now, so I'm just going to put away what I do have uh, into my bag, and then we're going to move along and try to find another spot with wood. I know there's tons of it on this trail. I just can't see it because of the snow. <laughs> Uh, I'll make this part quick. I did make a little bit of a rookie mistake. Do forgive me. Uh, I guess I didn't fill my battery enough before I came out. I thought it was full, but I guess not. Anyways, next time I'll bring more uh, more batteries. But um, I did find a little bit of a jackpot uh, in the way of wood. 
Uh, I found some pretty dry stuff. I did fill my bag, so I'm headed back to the house now uh, to put it in a dry spot, make sure it's nice and dry for tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll be back again tomorrow uh, collecting